good evening good evening good evening welcome to queen's table it is thursday night and we've got another very special guest hello claire hi hi how are you how has your week been it's good it's all a bit hectic at the minute i'm um, i'm trying to sell my house so i'm like stress especially with two children and a dog and trying to keep the house clean. <laughs> Nightmare. Oh bless you. That's that's a lot in <laughs> yeah, moving house is hard work, isn't it? So but hopefully that'll go all right for you and you'll all be settled soon. So it's also very exciting, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you could you start off by telling us your title? So I am Ms. Cumbria Galaxy. And, is, and I am. Oh, and can I just add uh, the first runner up as well, Miss Galaxy UK first runner up? <laughs> Yay! It's <laughs> amazing. So it's lovely to have you on this evening. I've been dying to get you on for ages. It is so nice to see you. Can we start off by asking you the question why did you choose Galaxy? Oh, honestly, like Galaxy just has my heart. It's, it's, the second pageant I ever competed in and um, I love everything about Galaxy I love that you know anyone can get involved you know doesn't matter you know the color of your skin the size of your body you, you know single mums and you're married and you what do you know whatever you know Galaxy you, you can be part of that family and that's what I like is all the, the family that comes with it and it, you don't need that crown to be part of that family it's you know, I love that galaxy girl kind of, you know, I can't think of the word for it. I just, honestly, I just love galaxy. And the directors as well, I have so much respect for Holly and Maria. And it's lovely that, you know, you can have a director that you really look up to. Yeah, definitely. It is such a lovely system. I completely agree. It's just such a friendly system. Um, you just have the time of your life there, don't you? And the lead up to it's fabulous as well. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Galaxy is absolutely amazing. So could you just tell me a little bit about your pageant history and what sort of things you've done before? Yes. Yeah, so I started pageants back in 2010. So 11 years ago now. Um, I started with um, the Miss England heat for Miss Cumbria. I placed fourth in that, um, but I couldn't come back because I was too old. <laughs> so I'd aged out <laughs> before I got to compete again. Um, but my choreographer for Miss Cumbria um, was the up and coming pageant director, Holly Eichen. So. Oh, Holly was starting off with Galaxy um, and it just seemed like the natural thing to progress to after competing and I've obviously been too old for Miss England, I could still compete for Galaxy. <laughs> and then oh, from wow. there, it was the bug, it was Galaxy, I've done Intercontinental, I've done International, I've done um, Miss Great Britain, um, Galaxy again, Intercontinental another two times and then back to Galaxy. Yeah, I love it. That's a brilliant story, isn't it? So you've had quite a lot of experience then. So how many galaxies have you actually done in total? Um, so this will be my fourth galaxy. So I've had, um, yeah, I had I competed twice in Miss. I had um, a few bit about six year break, and um, then came back again for Miss, and again this year. Oh, it's so exciting. And I've got to ask you this, obviously, let's talk about that top two moment. How did you find that? It was amazing. <laughs> you know what? I think because I've been stood on that stage watching that top two moment so many times, like I've been in the pageant industry, like I say, 11 years, and I've never won a crown. So this was literally the closest I've come to a crown. And I felt like I'd won. Like it was amazing. I was stood up there with Danielle Latimer, like a queen that I'd admired for years and years and I've looked up to. And even the top five, like I was in such an incredible top five. And you can see when it got down to the top three and I was stood there between Danielle and Jess and I was literally just like, what is that actually going on here? Like I, there's such hard working, like beautiful people. And I was 
honestly, I was, it was everything. It was, it was brilliant. And to be stood there holding Danielle's hand when she was called out as Miss Galaxy UK was, honestly, a proud moment. It is a powerful moment. I completely agree with you on that one. It's just such an amazing moment that it will never leave you, isn't it? It's absolutely lovely. And I must admit, I loved your, your fashion last year. It was absolutely amazing. You had that suit, didn't you? The black glittery yeah. kind of suit. I, I love that. I want it. <laughs> you know it's so I've, nice. I've always, I've not hated, but I've never been a fan of fashion wear because I could just never put my finger on quite like, my style for fashion wear and I've tried all sorts of dresses and I just couldn't you know I just never felt like me I never felt a but you know I saw that suit and it was actually my friends who helped me pick it out because I'd said to them like what would you like what would you expect me to come out in if I was like trying to show my personality and like my style and they were like oh well you need a suit like come out in a suit early you know a little bit different and I was like okay yeah and then I saw the, the full sequin suit and I was like, oh, it's just like the ultimate pageant suit. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. I've ever seen it. I was like, that is lovely. <laughs> I must admit, like I found like, um, I found not quite as good as yours, but I did find some sort of sequin leggings and a sequin black jacket. So I have got a sort of suit, but it's nowhere near as good as yours, obviously. Oh, I, yours I, was I, amazing. I where, where I got it from. <laughs> Yeah, it was so, so good. I must admit, it was brilliant. So, But um, I think that was such an incredible year. It was a very, very, very special year. It was a different year, wasn't it? Because we had all of the um, lead up to obviously the um, lockdown and everything. So it was quite a full on sort of, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? But I'm, I must say it was one of one of my well I've liked all the years but it was just such a special year definitely last year and I can't wait to see your journey again this year so we've got some exciting exciting bit that you've uh, that you've um you're doing and when I found out about this I was so happy for you so you've recently become an ambassador for the lookbook could you tell me a little bit about this I have yes um I'm still like a little bit like why be <laughs> um but yeah I was um the lookbook I put out a post looking for ambassadors um and one of my um my northwest pageant sisters Jordan Smith had actually nominated me for it um and I'd commented and I was said what a wonderful like this is an amazing opportunity like whoever wins this is going to be so lucky um and I got the message that I'd been chosen to be the ambassador um the lookbook is a um it's a dress hire company um and they they um they cater for all sizes all styles all um price ranges and um it's headed by the wonderful lauren parkinson who is no stranger to the pageant world um and yeah she's going to be dressing me for the year so, oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> all the events I attend, my I have my photo shoot with Charlotte, um, and my I'm hoping for my interview wear as well is going to be from Lauren. So I'm very excited about that. Oh, congratulations. I'm over the moon for you. What a fantastic opportunity. And the lookbook looks brilliant. It's absolutely fabulous. What a great idea oh, as well. Yes, you know. And because I I love like I'm all about making pageants affordable. Um, you know, I'm a mum of two, I have a mortgage, I've got a car to pay for, I have bills. Um, and I can't just go spending thousands of pounds on a dress and I can't, you know, pick up, a, you know, a hundred odd pound dress for just, you know, the night. Like I, I budget, and I budgeted last year when I competed in Galaxy, like literally all my outfits, I don't think I pulled, paid full price for anything. Like everything was either in the sale or, in, this has literally changed everything for me now because like I can I can have a different dress for every occasion now and I can you know have my dream outfit for my interview and you know it is it's so exciting I'm just so grateful to Lauren for this opportunity oh it's brilliant and you know like you said about you know budgeting and everything at least that, that pressure is off you can just relax now can't you and you've got that opportunity but i can't wait to see when have you got your shoot with charlotte is that coming up um, yes that's in june my shoot with charlotte yeah end of june so it's my actually my first shoot because like i say I, i've always budgeted for pageants and unfortunately that was never quite in my budget um and because of me winning my place in galaxy 
this year um, because of uh, placing first runner up, I've got that little bit more to spend. So I've, I've, you know, I was straight in. That was one of the first things I was like, I'm having a shoot with Charlotte. Oh, how lovely. I can't wait to see the pictures. That's going to be fabulous, isn't it? Oh, I'm really excited to see those. So the other thing is as well, um, during lockdown, I know you've created a little group, or we've created a little group called Queens in Training. How did this all come about? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah it's become a proper little like a little galaxy sisterhood hasn't it it's, um yeah so <laughs> yeah. um holly had held her pageant girl quiz and i think it was chloe actually who had suggested it that you know all our um runners up join together all all our first runners up and we we have our little quiz team so yeah we started this little quiz team together and it's literally just become this proper little sisterhood like it's do you know do you know when you win the crown and you have like your sister queens i feel like i've got my like runner-up sister queens like we do have this proper and we've started um fundraising together and you know we've got our manager nicola who keeps us right and you know it's yeah it's <laughs> fantastic, wonderful it really has we been. love we love nicola we love nicola she's it amazing is, isn't she? <laughs> and it's you know it's it's just a great like chloe i've never met chloe in person i've never met helen i've never met amber but you know we're on the phone to them like for hours and it's it's just great like chloe i sat on to like midnight one night just chatting about pageants and life and you know it's it's so nice and that's what galaxy gives you it just shows, like galaxy does give you that sisterhood i know it is it's just so lovely isn't it i mean i love i do love the queens in training it's got to be done isn't it but it's great because it'll become of the quiz and because we're all first runners up and you just even that has just made galaxy just worth it all together you know things like that it's just you know that's what galaxy is all about and it is just lovely sisterhood there isn't it so it I, I, I love it so so what are you doing different for your preparation this year so i wouldn't say i was doing anything different i am just doing more mm -hmm. so like i said because i've won my place like it's given me that little bit more of a budget than i had last year so um where I was like having to be really careful with what I was spending like I've got like a little bit more so like my photo shoot with Charlotte I'm finally gonna have some like proper pageant professional headshots done for the Galaxy website and anything that I'm um, taking part in um, I've, um, I'm going to get my hair and makeup done which I have never ever done before for a pageant I've always done my own hair and makeup tried to do my own hair and makeup <laughs> <laughs> it always looks fine. It looks very glamorous. You wouldn't have known. From a distance, I wouldn't get glamorous. <laughs> not great. Not great. Um, what else have I got? Oh, I'm going to attend a lot more events than I did last year. Like last year, I didn't go to get to go to any. Last year, I, I'm so confused where we are with yours. Last time I competed, um, I never got to go to any pageants or anything because again it's an on cost it's you know it costs money to be attending events every weekend and but i'm making an effort this year and there's so many amazing girls i want to support so like literally you won't be able to keep me away there's so like miss great britain miss great britain miss wales that literally oh, you know pageant girl like there's so many uk's national miss there's literally there's so many incredible girls competing in so many competitions this year that i literally i'm so excited i think i'm just as excited for them as i am for galaxy to be honest i completely get you with that one i feel a bit that way as well it's just that sort of sisterhood you just cannot wait to cheer people on it's like i'm very excited i have hotels booked and i'm like I'm, you know it's getting close now isn't it i even got to the stage the other day i don't know about you but i was digging things out the wardrobe just trying to sort of squeeze into more like yes i should be all right i'll be able to squeeze that by the time i get to the van <laughs> <But>, uh, <laughs> it's 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 just imagine yeah. like oh, what outfit am i going to wear and you know what <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just get the shoes out or put, get the dust off the shoes. <laughs> Start ordering about a million earrings from Earring Envy. That seems to be a thing at the moment. That's why I've been bad for that. It was like, she popped up the birthday sale the other day and I was a bit like, oh, you know, it'd be rude not to. 
Yeah, I, I completely get you with that one. It's nice though because everyone's the photo shoots are starting again, and um, you know everyone's really, really looking forward to going back. Chloe just said, I think it's because we've been away from the pageant scene so long. That any type of competition is going to be exciting. Yeah, I completely agree there, Chloe. We just all just cannot wait to be back, and it's just going to be so nice to see everyone in person because. Um, obviously, people have met before. I don't know about you, but there's a lot of people you haven't met in face to face. You're actually going to meet them face to face because a lot of it might have been virtually or, you know, on the phone or online or, or whichever. Um, so it is going to be really nice to be all together, isn't it? Again, and just have a yeah, have a good time. But I think I'm going to lose my voice if I from all these the screaming I'm going to do to support people. <laughs> I know we'll be ruined by the time it gets to Galaxy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think we'll be like this. I've got a voice left, you know. <laughs> so it's all good. Oh, Kat has put Beebs is one of the most supportive pageant girls, and I love that she's promoting affordable pageantry. Oh, yeah, and it is good because you know, like you say, um, you know, if people have children or you know they've got a mortgage or any reason at all, you know, it is expensive. And obviously, with the uh, the COVID and the lockdown and everything, that we've got to remember that many people might have lost their jobs and things like that. Um, but you know, I'm always up for recyclable things. You can reuse things. You can make chop up dresses make it into fashion wear you know there's lots of sites out there as well isn't there where you can um i mean like the lookbooks are fabulous idea i think that's fantastic yeah. isn't it you know um, well i think it's what pageantry needed was you know someone who, who's got the knowledge of pageantry but and like yeah. yeah i think it was fabulous well done to lauren for that yeah well done lauren we love it so <laughs> So, a little question for you. What is your favourite round in pageantry and why? Ooh. It's got to be swimwear. Yeah. It's, honestly, the confidence you get, like, I literally, I'm well, I'm just a typical woman. I'm like, oh, I hate this and I'm wobbly here and, I, you know, I've got stretch marks here and, you know, the, <laughs> the standard, you know. But the second I put on that bikini and I get on that stage, Honestly, I, I feel like like a queen, like honest, I'm just, I get so much confidence and I just feel like, you know what, who cares? You know, if I can get on here, on stage in front of everyone and, you know, show, you know, what I've got, like, I love it, I do, I love it. And I won Best in Swimwear, finally, after trying for like 10 years for it. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> oh, how did you feel with that certificate? <laughs> oh! I said, like, I literally, I, as soon as I got to work, I was like, I've wanted this for so long. I've tried so hard. And I've always, I've always come so close. Like, when I've got my feedback, I've always been, like, third or second in swimwear. So I've always come very close, but never quite got it. And, oh, and it really, I think that was just, like, as, like I said, it was as good as winning. Like, I'd, I'd got something that I'd worked so hard for. And I had, I trained so hard. And, you know, I, I, uh, one of my sponsors, um, Extreme Fitness um, in Cumbria, they they you know took me to, like put me through my paces and you know I did I worked hard for it and it paid off. I was chuffed. Oh, that's fabulous, isn't it? And they come in such lovely gold frames last year as well, didn't they? So they're all pretty. Yeah. So <laughs> it's so nice when you you've achieved something that you really wanted because like I say you work really hard for it and it's something you wanted for a long time so you know it's it's wonderful when you get that lovely moment so but oh that's amazing so thank you so so much for chatting to us this evening it's been so lovely to see you and I can't wait to see you in person obviously <laughs> so, oh I know it's been too long hasn't it it's, it's been a while it's been a while but hopefully we'll all be back together soon and it's very exciting so we'll look forward to that so thanks again for coming on so, um, so next okay. week on um, Queen's Table, I was going to say the wrong thing then, but I'll get it right. So next week on Queen's Table, we have Natalie Pavowick. So she is on next week, who is Mrs. Galaxy UK. So really looking forward to seeing her next week. And then um, if you want a bit more pageant land tonight, we've got Clubhouse on at 8.15. So join us at Queen's Talking tonight about self-love, again with the special guest experts as normal, like we have every week. So please jump over and join us on Clubhouse at quarter past eight. So everyone have a lovely week. It is lovely to see you all again and have a good week and see you next Thursday. Bye -bye.